So now this RTX 5080 is 15% faster than uh, 4080 Super. So this is the leak from this gamer. I think so. Yes, this is his testing information. Look at this photo. Here you can see. Uh, here are these numbers, and uh, I don't know what is this in Chinese. It shows what appears to be a 3D mark time is by test of the RTX 5080. The card name is visible, suggesting in a person conducting the test has access to pre-release drivers. So it's good thing about 5080. It is indeed 15% faster than RTX 4080. Issue which average is about 28,000 points and where is RTX 28,305. Uh, it's uh, supposed to be uh, 32,701. All right, let me explain this first because if you are not familiar with this, it might sound a little technical. So 3D Mark Time Spy is basically a benchmarking tool and uh, it's super popular for testing the performance of gaming PCs and graphics cards. Think of it like a stress test for your system. It runs intense graphics and CPU tests to see how powerful your hardware really is. Specifically, it focuses on DirectX 12 performance, which is what a lot of modern games really on. You get a graphic score, a CPU score, and an overall score to compare with other systems. So when you see those big numbers being thrown around like uh, 32,700 fun, they're the Times Pi score telling us just how strong a card like the RTX 5080 is. Pretty cool, right? So now the total thing is, let the RTX 5080 clocks in with a graphics score of 32,701 is Times Pi. For context, the RTX 4080 Super it's uh, chilling at 28,305. That's like your buddy saying, I'll race you to the finish line and then showing up with a rocket is, is strapped to their back. But there's also something new and this one is also about 5080 graphics card testing, but this one is uh, for Blender users. Look at this Tom Hardcore article. It says a Redditor has unearthed Blender results for the GeForce RTX 5080, providing a glimpse of its capabilities. According to benchmark results, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080 has a median score of 9077.3 points uh, across two results, which is only a little over 700 points or 8% above the previous generation RTX 4080 Super. Compared to the RTX 4080, the RTX 5080 delivered up to 10% higher performance in Blender. So these numbers might not seem exciting at first, especially since earlier leaks hinted at a 22% performance boost over the RTX 4080. But let's keep in mind, those results came from Geekbench, which isn't exactly the gold standard for testing graphics card. A lot of folks agree that some things like Blender provides a more reliable benchmark. Now, as for the RTX 5090, it's showing a solid 25% improvement. So now the real question is, how does the RTX 5080 measures up to its processor? When it comes to actually gaming FPS, the gap between the RTX 5080, RTX 4080 Super and RTX 4080 might end up being even tighter than expected. It's uh, definitely going to be interesting to see how this play out. I definitely need your help to grow this NVIDIA community. If you want to watch more exciting NVIDIA news and leaks, please do like and don't forget to subscribe please and drop a comment below and take care until the next one bye bye